Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and I'm back today with a treat for you and for me, a freshly sealed, I guess not freshly sealed, an old sealed 1990 Upper Deck wax box. In this case, for Upper Deck, it's a foil box, but um, excited to uh, break into this one. It is it's the second offering from Upper Deck, 1989 being their inaugural season, as everybody knows, setting the hobby ablaze. And this turned out to be a good set as well. Really nice design. Actually, I think I like 91 a little better, but um, this is a, still a very good set. But more than just kind of looking for a kind of normal stuff and the stars and whatnot, I've got a few errors I'm on the hunt for as I tend to uh, like to see. And I particularly love those errors where they have the wrong picture on the front or the back or something like that. So um, there are tons of variations in this set, most of them being around, you know, <clears throat> uncorrected stats and things like that, which I don't really care about. Also, they have a copyright variation where there's a copyright in the back or not. I literally do not care about that. It's not interesting at all to me. But wouldn't it be amazing if I pulled number 702 Mike Witt out of here? That would be remarkable because I th that's one that they pulled out of the set. Um, and so really, I don't think there's any chance that they'll be in the wax, box, wax packs, but uh, they replaced it with some Expos up and coming stars. And... Um, but that's the, like, kind of like the holy grail from this set, I think. We're also looking for Ben McDonald, Jim Gott, Scott Geraltz, Jeff Innes, Annie, Mag Annie McGaffigan, um, uh, Mickey or Jamie Weston. They actually spelled his name wrong. Put, I put the wrong name on there for, for quite a few of those. And then Nolan Ryan, there's a, a high series card that uh, sometimes they have the 300 win banner and sometimes they don't. So those are the ones I'm looking for here. I'll try to take my time to make sure I don't miss them because it's a lot of new names that I don't typically look for. John's very happy about baseball that day. And this is the big, this is the most annoying part about Upper Deck is that they're all flipped around everywhere. So there's Paul Molitor. That's a good one. And something my kids really like is that they have these holographic stickers. So put those aside too for them. Good shot of Roberto Alomar diving into second base. I think he's going to be safe. That's my guess. I'll see if I, I'll see if I can show you an example of the uh, see the uh, copyright line there, right there. So these have copyrights. Some of them don't. Again, not a very exciting variation but i think all of these are probably going to have copyright since they're likely all from the same print run but i've been wrong before certainly the tops 91 tops proved me wrong on that one uh, with the glowbacks and non-glowbacks and watermarks etc that we explored previously there's tony gwynn doing a little dance on second base A leg kick from Dennis Martinez. There's our cubbies. Holographic sticker. Gary Carter, the kid. Which is funny to call him the kid late in his career, but Hall of Famer. There's another Roberto Almar as a secondary player in the picture. Vince Vincent Van Gogh. Vince Coleman there. And here's Ken Griffey Jr. Dun, 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 dun. Ken Griffey Jr. also contains an uncorrected error where they spell a word wrong on the back. And it's not a particularly important word, but they do spell it wrong. And some people like to tout that they have a Ken Griffey Jr. error when they sell that one. Whatever they can do to make the buck, I guess. Tom Walton coming off his Rookie of the Year season. Bound to miss one of these guys that I'm looking for here. I'll try to keep my eyes peeled. Barry Larkin. Greg Vaughn rookie card. Alright, so we're doing okay here with the terms of stars. 
not seen any of these guys I'm after. These foil packs were revolutionary for the uh, for the hobby, though. There's a Roberto Almar proper. Um, just in keeping the cards in good shape, there's Tom Glavin. Robin Young. So this is a good pack right in a row. Three Hall of Famers. You know, didn't leave the wax stains. Made it really easy to open. Also, the cards were in pristine condition every time. It was tamper resistant. As far as I know, there's no way to seal these things again. So, people can get in there and be searching for good packs, which is still a problem today. There's Jose Canseco. So, this is a great pack here. And <laughs> Jack Armstrong doing some calisthenics. In the cold there with his batting gloves on. That's a funny shot. Why they would choose that one, I don't know, but I kind of love it. Probably during spring training. He's probably like, why won't you get a shot of me striking somebody out or something? Steve Avery, rookie. Good looking card there. All right, so Mickey Weston. This is the corrected version. The incorrect version would say Jamie Weston, both on the front and the back. So we got the corrected version there. So I wonder if that can lead us to the conclusion that this is a later production box where they've made some of those error corrections. I guess we will find out. So I'll take it. That's that's the first one we found. I kind of like it just as much when we get the corrected ones as the error ones. There's Jack Morris in the Hall of Fame. Albert Bell in the Hall of Infamy, we'll call it. <laughs> Julio Franco, one of the most distinctive batting stances in the league at the time. sticker. There's Greg Biggio. Second year card for him. Good shot of him diving into third base. Tim Raines. Team card for the Expos. All right. Still looking for some of these Errors. I'm sure I probably I might have flipped by them too because they're not names I'm usually looking for. Randy Johnson, second year card for him. Cubs sticker. Tend to be getting a lot of Cubs here. And there's a Bo Jackson. That's one of the better cards in the set. Very nice action shot of him getting snow cone in that baseball with his hat flying off. Um, there's supposed to be an error on this one too, I think, with one of the stats, if I recall. 
I'm not sure why there's a white space there in the stats, but so that's a good one. There's Dwight Gooden, Mets team card. All right, last pack. These are in great shape though. I mean, like they definitely have been sealed since 1990, which puts them at 32 years old. Now, in 1990, if you would have had a box from 32 years ago, that would have been 1958. I would take that for sure. Let's get that. It's Joe Carter looking happy. Tom Glavin. Stock sticker. Daryl Strawberry. Chuck Finley looks like he's taking one in the gut. And Mike Davis. So that'll do it. All right. So we did get our Mickey Weston, not Jamie Weston there. We got a bunch of stars and none of my favorites though. So we'll have to keep open. We got three more stacks to go. See you then.